How do you fill up a glass? Well, one way is to, for some people, use the garden hose. And the pressure that comes out from the garden hose is so powerful that it will actually overflow and never fill up the glass. Or at least just a very small amount. Another way is to use a faucet. Even if it's dripping, one drop at a time, it will fill up a glass. So, to fill up a glass, there are two conditions. Number one, that the glass has to be empty. And second, that the pressure of the water that you're applying to fill up the glass has to be moderated and gentle so that you can actually fill it up to the level that you wish. This is the way the mind works. When you try to give a message to somebody else, and if you want them to take this message or receive the message and accept what you're saying, it's like filling up a glass. If you hit them with harsh words and tremendous pressure and try to talk them into what it is that you believe, it won't work. It'll overspill. It'll overflow. But it won't last. And if the glass is too full, meaning that if the person thinks that they know everything and they're not willing to listen to you at all, then there's not much that you can put in there because they're not ready to take in any messages. So for someone to be able to listen, they have to empty themselves. They have to be ready and willing to take in a message from someone else or something else. For someone to be able to give the message, they have to do it slowly in a very categoric but certainly measured way not too powerful and not too slow and continuous but at the same time gentle interesting isn't it yet some people go with such a glass and try to fill it up but they never get it never so when you give a message or try to impart the message to a friend of yours or someone that you know someone that you care for even though you may love them and you may want to Speak with them with passion, from the heart. As it says, the word from the heart will enter their heart. But even though you're using that, the delivery is important, and the person receiving the message also has to be considered. These two components must be looked at so that the message will not only be received, it will be accepted and will stay. And it will have an impact. So remember... The way to fill up a glass requires those two conditions. And this is the way you can help others and also be beneficial to others. And that will make a better world. If you like what you've heard, please let us know by leaving a comment below. We would really appreciate if you would be kind enough to like, share, and even subscribe. Feel free to follow us on Facebook.